I wanted to make this quick video about the protests that are breaking out uh, in, mostly it seems like it's in the west coast of America, around uh, California and Oregon and places like that. Uh, this is in response to Donald Trump winning the election, or at least the mainstream media calling the election for Donald Trump when not all the votes were in and Hillary Clinton seems to be winning the popular vote, though one needs to remember that the Electoral College dictates who wins, not the popular vote. So your vote certainly might not count if, if you're in a state that was had an, someone on the board of the Electoral College who, who didn't vote with the popular vote. They should have seen this coming because the, the, the Clinton campaign should have seen this coming because there were clearly individuals who were, who were those who would vote on the Electoral College who said that even if Clinton, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote, that they would not give her their Electoral College vote. So that was already being said by, by, by some of, of those individuals. So is this about you feeling represented in your country? Is, are you represented if they can just because of whatever reason they decide that no matter what all, all the constituents say or the population say or the populace says they're going to vote however they feel is best suited for them and their needs. That's what's going on. And this is something that we need to look at. Now, I don't... I don't have extremely strong hatred for either candidate. I think they're both interesting and they both have things to offer. And our votes are, are secret in America and they should stay that way. Also, our, our votes should count. They should not, the Electoral College situation has got to be dealt with. These, these protests are going to probably bring that to the forefront and there's even talk of, of in, in California, something called um, Calexit, like Brexit, where they're going to leave, maybe financially or whatever. So the, the, these are all extremely interesting. It, it certainly hasn't been boring. This election has not been boring. It's, it's been exciting. And uh, various leaders around the world are congratulating uh, President-elect Donald Trump for his win, and uh, President Obama is inviting President-elect Donald Trump to the White House. Uh, Hillary Clinton, Senate, Secretary Clinton, has uh, given her speech that she is is uh, that she had lost, and some of her staffers, like Podesta, are saying, "No, you should. Uh, you know, she, we're not going to say we lost right now. We're not going to say that right away." So, and, and again, a lot of the people that voted for her or were supporters or are Democrats are feeling that they need to protest. And indeed, if America is going to be free, then perhaps we have to have this type of refreshment of, of our liberties. Uh, perhaps we need, uh, there might be some anarchy, who knows. People should not be violent. They should protest in in legal in legal ways, but this is a time when people need to reevaluate and learn about how our governmental system works and how if it needs to be refreshed and and changed back to something where we feel represented, where our votes are all counted, where everybody who votes. Counts. I'm Pastor Rosemary. This is Pastor Rosemary's Prophecy Watch, Mr. Frosty.